What is it, y'all? First one on the BFS, just fighting it in open water with this 10 pound line. I need the net for this guy. <laughs> Oh my god, this reel is sick. Today we're reviewing the new Corrado BFS. I'm going to show you how to get more sensitivity out of your baits with some new aftermarket lightweight finesse handles. We're also going to be throwing some of the lightest baits on pre-release baits actually. Alright y'all, so what is all the fuss about the new BFS bait casters? They're going to help you get some results that you wouldn't normally be able to do unless you're throwing some spinning gear. Help you throw some of your lightest tackle but on a bait caster setup. And with that, this guy right here has a 70 size spool, very lightweight. And when spooled up with some lighter duty line as well as paired with the correct rod, you're gonna be able to throw out those lighter baits no problem at all. It also features a clicking drag system so you know when those fish are on and pulling drag and opens up entirely new possibilities in the fishing space, especially when it comes to things like trout fishing in rivers, you actually can use these reels for now the lightest baits out there, like 1 28th of an ounce up to about a quarter ounce is all you're gonna wanna use these BFS system reels for. So without further ado, let's go ahead, break this thing down, make a few casts, try and catch some fish today for you guys and cover this reel inside and out as well as the aftermarket handles we've got on this to maximize its results. So before we make the first few casts, I'm gonna tell you what I'm looking forward to using this bait caster for the most. Absolutely, it's gonna be micro cranks. It's gonna be small finesse jerk baits, things like a drop shot, uh, the lightest of Ned rigs. In fact, I've got a whole Z-Man Ned rig kit right here with weights that go down to one tenth of an ounce. So you've got really, really light stuff that you might normally be able to throw on your traditional bait casting setups, and that's where I'm gonna have a lot of fun because I enjoy throwing a bait caster reel versus spending combo in many scenarios. And think about stuff like smallmouth fishing for y'all northerners in the clear water. A lot of times you're throwing those finesse spinning combos, but now you've got an option to throw a bait caster setup for those smallmouth applications. I think you guys are gonna love it, especially the fact that it's got that fun sounding clicking drag that not only makes the fight sound a lot more fun, but it gives you detailed information on how much line that fish is taking out on your lighter setup so you can dial in that drag accordingly on the fly. That's gonna be more important when you're dealing with really light gear and you need to make sure you've got your drag set appropriately so those fish don't snap you off or are just running like the wind and you can tighten it up a little bit. Now before we go any further, I'd like to tell you guys about today's sponsors. Handles, Gomexis. These are titanium knobs, which means you're not even really gonna feel hot or cold when you grab these. These are the lightest knobs on the market at 0.23 ounces, so you're gonna get more feeling and feedback out of your baits when they're underwater and you're working them on these setups like this. Also, they've got high quality bearings inside, so you're gonna have that extra bit of smoothness. This color combination specifically goes great with the Corrado, in my opinion, because it has those gold accents that you're gonna see standard on the tension knob of most Corrados. But there's also a silver option with this handle and knob combination, so you'll get silver accents if that's gonna go better with the reels you put it on. If you guys want to grab a set of aftermarket handles for yourself from Gomexis, they have options to accommodate you, whether you're throwing big baits and you want a power handle, the traditional handles that they've got in multiple different color options, or these brand new finesse handles, and check the link in the description and start customizing your setups with something that's going to not only look good, but also help the performance of those casting setups. Now we're going to go ahead and break this thing out and make the first few casts. We just tied on a brand new Micro Recon, and I'm thinking about breaking out the new Micro Banger. This is an awesome 1 8 ounce Guggen Squad finesse crankbait, and see if we can get some fish to bite on the run. Otherwise, we might break out those Ned Riggs drop shots and showcase a little bit of the casting distance that you can get with this reel from its amazing breaking, despite the fact that you're throwing out some of the lightest baits and truly why you might want to pick up this reel for yourself as opposed to just skipping over it and throwing that spinning rod. And lastly y'all for the rod and line setup I'm throwing 10 pound fluorocarbon on this right here so definitely dialing it back from my usual and this is going to be what I'm throwing out in the midsummer heat when they're really feeling lethargic and I got to the nest down for those bites as well as just year round when I want to throw something like a micro swim bait crank things of that nature and it's just a little too light for my other combos. With that 10 pound fluorocarbon you may start to notice as these gain more popularity that people are going to be throwing something like 8 pound braid with a 4 pound leader or even just 4 pound line straight when fishing for something like trout or those smallmouth in that old clear water when line diameter and size really makes a difference to whether you're gonna get those bites or not and for the rod we're throwing it on a Guggen squad twitch rod I did see there was a $50 Shimano like budget BFS rod that you can get and one of the real test videos if I can find that video by him I'll link it down in the description but just know there are affordable options the twitch rod is a 6'9 medium moderate action rod and I've been having great luck with it on this reel so far it's just what I've got in my arsenal so we're gonna throw out everything on this today so first cast with the micro recon look at how tiny this thing is y'all <laughs> it's got a diving depth of two to four feet but here's what I want to showcase is the casting distance so there's not much wind today but even yesterday as I was casting it into the wind I wasn't getting any back lashes it was crazy so with that shallower spool you're not able to load it up with quite as much line as 
as those larger 150 or 200 size spools like maybe the Corrado K. What does that mean? It means less line, less rotational mass. It's a lot easier to cast out those lighter baits. And when you pair that with the brakes that this thing has, it's ridiculous. I mean, I've got it on four out of six. Watch this cast. We're gonna get some good distance. I'm not gonna thumb it at all. Did not thumb it at all. It's halfway across the pond, an eighth of an ounce. I mean, it, uh, it does not get much better than that. And this is not the best bait for this specific pond, at least at this time of year when there's so much grass, because I know I'm just gonna be catching a lot of it on the bill. But I wanted to show off the casting capabilities with such a light crankbait. If I was throwing this light of a bait on something like uh, my Guggen Squad Go 2 rod, you know, which is like very common across the board as an all purpose rod, it's a seven foot medium heavy fast action rod, something that you guys probably have in your arsenal, I would not be getting the same accuracy with my casts as with the twitch rod for one i wouldn't be getting the same distance because i'm going to have heavier lines spooled up on those reels and in the case that i had lighter lines spooled up like 10 pound fluorocarbon they've got a deeper spool so there's going to be more weight on that spool from the extra line it's going to be harder to cast because of that so there really is a lot of value in this overall system right here it's not like you can just throw those lighter baits and get away with it quite as simply on your traditional gear and now I'm not saying you wouldn't be able to throw this on your other gear, but what you're going to have to do is probably tighten your tension a little bit and beef up your brakes on those other reels to where you're not going to get much distance. You might try and fling this light bait on your regular reels and only get 15 feet out, which is in this case isn't even far enough to get past the grass and really have an opportunity to catch those fish. So with this right here, I'm able to fling it, get that distance. I could probably even loosen up the brakes even more since there's no wind today and get further. And I'm way out there right now. See, now you can see the wind is coming at me a little bit more still not even a hint of a bird's nest right there with those brakes on four out of six so while this isn't a high wind test i'm definitely impressed with the capabilities now with all that being said i think i'm going to switch things up to a bait where i'm actually going to be able to catch some fish because this is proving to be a challenge in this pond today all right so Devin's catching all these fish on the bottom i'm going to try the same daggum thing i got that ned rig kit i'm going to throw out a one tenth ounce jig head with uh, maybe one of these craws included in here Oh, got one, got one. That was instant. Oh my gosh, is it a bluegill or bass? That was so instant. Oh my gosh, it's a little, little sunfish or gill. <laughs> there we go. See you, buddy. <laughs> Wonder what else might be over there. I saw plenty of what looked to be bass while I was on that side of the bridge. So let me get another cast under there. What would you compare like? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Devin, oh, I got another one. Got another fish. Devin was just asking a good question. Oh, catch and release. <laughs> like almost how does this feel compared to throwing like a Texas rig on your almost more beefy setups? And it feels really good, almost the same to be honest, but in a different way. So like everything is sized down, right? So even though this specific rod is very light duty compared to most of my traditional bass tackle, when you're throwing something as light as this Ned rig or a drop shot, you feel like you've just got excellent sensitivity because it's so light. The reel is definitely smaller in size. Like it's definitely more palmable. The handles are a little bit shorter, the stock handles. Super Super light setup. This is like the lightest setup that we have. As far as casting goes, like there's there's really nothing lighter than this Twitch rod and this Corrado BFS. It's pretty sweet. So the reason I even got this reel is because I was going on a trip to film Uncharted up north and I wanted a reel with a shallow spool that I could do some flipping, some pitch, and some heavier duty work with. And we ended up getting a reel for that. But in the process, I was calling around to local dealers looking for what they had, specifically kind of like a Shimano and the left-handed setup because I like the, uh, the left-handers. And one of the stores had this and it was brand new. So I kind of looked it up and it seemed like there's a lot of curiosity around this actual reel. It's brand, it's newer to the market. I had seen a couple other reviews and it kind of piqued my interest. And so I'm like, well, shoot, maybe I should grab that reel too. So honestly, wasn't even looking for it, happened to stumble upon it. And so glad I did, cause I've actually caught a handful of fish on here throwing some of the lighter baits that I wouldn't be able to throw on my regular setups. But definitely glad I picked it up. I'm gonna go ahead and actually showcase a, a good catch on this reel because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch anything in here today where it's gonna be just scream and drag. But we had a crazy fight out on the bass boat the other day with this reel. I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys down south to Austin, Texas and showcase that fight before we wrap things up. Y'all enjoy. So murky, maybe a freaking spinnerbait. Oh, got one. There we go. Got a fish. What is it? What is it, y'all? First one on the BFS that's taking a little drag. Might be a couple pounds here. Just fighting it in open water with this 10-pound line. 
baby saucy swimmer the motor what do we have here this could be might need the net for this guy <laughs> oh my gosh this reel is sick this fish is uh he's running oh my gosh it's almost like throwing spinning gear right now y'all i'm on the twitch rod oh he's a couple pounds okay nothing huge but this is sick with this reel <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> it's like a small mouth fight. <laughs> Devin's trying to get the net opened up. Wow, he might be like three pounds. Just fan casting that swim bait, y'all. Trying to dig that rod down. I'm letting him fight it out. Wow, he's they like really fight hard here. This is not a huge bass. Oh my gosh. All right, get ready. Oh, he didn't like the net. You're gonna have to get under him. Oh my gosh. You ready? You ready? Nice! That's a butterball. That thing's fat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That might actually be like three plus pounds because of how fat it is. All right, I hope you enjoyed that catch. That was actually on the 3.3 inch saucy swimmer on just a Ned mushroom head, just like this. So an exposed hook, opportunity to catch fish on those lighter rigs that you wouldn't normally throw has been fantastic with the Corrado BFS. I cannot wait to throw it more. If you guys are looking for this reel, go ahead and check the link in the description for an option to buy, but also to go Mexus handles. Loving these things and I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. We've been a fan of their products for a long time now, have a lot of different setups by them on our different reels so be sure to check out some of those other videos by us if you are looking for an aftermarket option to deck out your reels with performance and the good looks we'll catch you guys on the next video thank you so much till then peace